Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I know some of you were expecting to see the date night look quick today, but unfortunately it didn't quite pan out how I was expecting it to. So I've had to sack that one off and instead I've brought this video forward because so many of you have been asking me how I style my hair since having the big chop. So it was a couple of weeks ago, I believe, and I filmed this all in a vlog. I went off to the hairdressers and decided to have a rather drastic cut. Now I had about four inches off from the length of my hair how it was before and the reason for this was because I fancied a bit of a change and also I like hair with minimal fuss and minimal faff. Now I've had a couple of weeks to play around with having my hair this length and I just find it so much easier to style, to maintain and my getting ready time is around about 15 minutes. Now I know a lot of you guys want to know how I actually curl it and which curling tongue or iron I use and I promise I will get to that in a minute but because I wear my hair like this most of the time I just wanted to run through a few of the products that I use and the technique that I use as well to get this kind of shaggy just got out of bed look. So I tend to wash my hair and have a shower either late afternoon to early evening and the reason behind that is because I like to let my hair naturally dry so once I hop out the shower I give it a quick towel dry and then I spritz in a couple of products so number one is Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. And I literally just give a few spritzes of this, distribute it evenly throughout my hair, followed by another Bumble and Bumble product, which is the Surf Spray. And this gives that kind of salty texture to it. Again, just a few spritzes of this through my hair. And then I brush through using a rather attractive shade of green wet brush. Now I know the colour is hideous but if you guys are really struggling to find a brush which gets through knots and if the tangle teaser isn't quite doing it for you I would definitely suggest trying a wet brush. So once I've brushed through my hair I just give it a quick ruffle up with my fingers and then that's it I leave it I just let it air dry and then obviously I go to bed wake up in the morning and sometimes it can look a little bit fluffy so to get rid of any of that fluff and just to give it a little bit more texture I use this which I actually featured in my last hair tutorial video and I still love it I absolutely swear by this product so it is the Batiste Stylist XXL Volume Spray and it also is a dry shampoo as well and I'm going to show you guys now how I use it so I give it a quick shake and then I just lift up some sections of my hair and give it a quick blast and do a bit in the back as well. Now with most dry shampoos you have to almost massage it into your head so I just give that a quick little massage <coughs> oh, and gas myself in the process <laughs> using a well ventilated area <laughs> but hopefully you guys can see how it gives just a little bit of volume. Now obviously you can add a little bit more in as and when you need it depending on how thick your hair is but it just adds a bit of oomph and a bit of sort of sexy just got out of bed vibes. Right now if I have a little bit more time on my hands or if I want my hair to look a little bit nicer then I might want to add a slight curl or wave to my hair. So for this I'm just going to go hop in the shower so that I can show you guys and start from scratch with wet hair. Right so I have just given my hair a quick wash in the shower and then I've just wrapped it up, bunged it on top of my head in a towel. So now I'm going to start to show you guys ugh, what I do. So I give it a quick towel dry just to absorb up any of the like heavy bits of moisture within the lengths of the hair. So don't rub it too aggressively, just give it a quick kind of pat. It's the only thing with having hair this short when you get out of the shower and do this, you just look like a crazy person. <laughs> right, I'd say that's probably dry enough. And then I'm gonna go to my two favorite products. So. First of all, Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. So let's add a couple of spritzes. Not in your eye. <laughs> Ow. And then followed by, again, Bumble and Bumble, the Surf Spray. I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff I've actually been using for years and I used to use this when I had really, really long hair. So this stuff comes out a little bit of a finer mist. Sorry, I've got hair. 
um, than the thickening spray. So I feel like two pumps on the side, one on the back kind of does the job, but adjust accordingly depending on the length of your hair. Then I'm gonna give that product a brush through. So sorry guys if I'm looking over here, but that's where my mirror is. Um, just to evenly distribute some of the product so that it's not all clumped in one kind of area. It just brushes it through the lens. And then before I start blow drying, I usually just give it a quick, I was gonna say a quick finger, a quick ruffle up with my fingers just so that it's not flat, because I find when you brush your hair, it tends to stick to your head and your scalp a bit more. Right, now my hair dryer of choice has not changed since my last video. It is still my knackered out Babyliss. I've got no idea what the number of this is, the model number, um, but it does the trick, it dries my hair. I'm so not one of those people that would advise spending a fortune on a hair dryer, like those Dyson ones. No, sorry, a basic one does just a good a job. Wow, okay, <laughs> so as you can see there is no real drying technique there, I just make sure that it's all dry and then I end up looking like this, all good to go, <laughs> jokes. I can feel, I hope you guys can see, that my hair feels thicker, I hope it looks thicker, um, and with the activation from the heat in the hair dryer, it just helps it not sit so closely together, so it just adds a little bit more volume. Okay, now, the question on everyone's lips is which wand slash iron am I using to create the waves on such a short hair? And the answer is this one. So again, it is another GHD wand. I believe this is called the Creative Curve. It says GHD Trizone Technology. Ooh, doesn't it sound magical? Um, but it is a slightly tapered one, so it has a slightly thicker base tapering up to something slightly thinner. And then if I turn it to its side profile, you can see it's not actually round. It's almost like it's round but been squashed. So it's similar to the um, wave ones that I used to use on my slightly longer hair. Uh, but I find that because this one has a smaller I suppose we can still call this a barrel even though it's not round. Because this one has a smaller barrel, it's easier for shorter hair. So I'm gonna turn this one on, and what I love about GHDs ah, is that little noise. It takes only a few, there we go, a few seconds to heat up. Okay, now the wand is good to go. I'm gonna start by curling the first side. So I always start with this side. Don't really know why, it's just, natural thing and very much the same as my last hair tutorial video I don't section it off I don't use clips I'm just not that bothered so I'm gonna get sections and I'm not gonna like strategically measure them but around about this kind of size and the first one I'm going to curl away from my face so you place the wand behind and then curl like so I wrap around a couple of times hold for about five seconds and then release. And the key to this is that because the wand tapers up towards the top slightly, it will create more of a tighter curl towards the bottom of the hair. So don't hold it there for too long, otherwise you will get little ringlets. So the key is just to hold for about five seconds, again, depending on how thick your hair is. Uh, hold for about five seconds and then release. And this is what will create a really kind of soft wave. Now, for the next section of hair, sorry guys, again, I'm having to look in that mirror over there. I'm going to curl, oh wait, no, that's the same bit. <laughs> for the next section of hair, I'm going to curl towards my face. So rather gingerly, very carefully, place the wand here and wrap around, oh, hang on a minute, wrap around towards your face. So this will create a slightly more natural curl, kind of like a beachy look. Again, hold for a few seconds, release, and I sometimes pull the curl as well. Once it's just come off the wand, I just pull it a little bit so that it doesn't sit super high and springy. And then just carry on curling away. Okay, so I've done the first half of my head, the first side. So you can see 
maybe like this first one here and the first couple that are a little bit older than the others, they're starting to drop a little bit, which is exactly what we want to happen because we don't want the curls to be so tight. We want them to fall out a little bit and just to form very, very loose waves. So now I'm gonna start on the other side of my hair. Again, the exact same process. So just when you flip to the other side, you just have to remember that you're curling away from your face and then towards your face because it's now going to be the other way around. And I always find it's easier with one hand to go on one side rather than the other side. For me, the easier side is definitely that side. Right, there we go. Both sides are now curled. Now, the only problem that I found with having hair this length is the back section because with longer hair you can kind of pull it to the front and you can easily do the strands which are towards the back with shorter hair this becomes quite an issue so you kind of have to feel your way around so i bought one of these so you guys can see yourself now um off amazon i'll leave a link for this one in the description box below and it just helps when using a mirror on a mirror behind you you can kind of feel around have a look and see which of the bits which you've missed and then go over those with the wand now there are some really really short sections right at the back of my hair just above the nape of my neck these sections are about an inch long i don't even bother curling those so that's an entire section about this big at the back of my head that i don't bother curling the curls over the top cover that section anyway and you can't even wrap an inch worth of hair around a wand now to add a little bit more texture to this along with the two bumble and bumble products that i used when my hair was damp I will go back to my trusty XXL Volume Spray from Batiste and just give a couple of spritzes of this up in the root area of your hair. And this just gives a little bit of volume at the root if you need it and a little bit of texture as well. So just massage that in because it is still a dry shampoo spray as well so you don't want any of that white residue. Give it a little bit of a zhuzh and there we go. You've got an added bit of volume in there. But if you needed something to give you super, super boosted hair, for example, if you have really fine hair, then try a plumping powder. They are amazing for giving volume at the roots. Right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I will link absolutely everything, including the amazing ones that I used to create this look down in the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.